What's up guys? Today I want to talk about green tear cichlid tank mates. Uh, the green tear is one of my favorite fish just because it's a South American fish and as you guys know I am a South American fanboy because uh, the reason uh, the water is so easy to replicate and it's so easy to keep these fish healthy and they have the fish are beautiful and they're mild mannered you know like it's uh, the Jack Dempsey might be the most aggressive South American. But anyhow, um, today's topic, like I said, tank mates for the green tear cichlid. Um, I have a green tear in this tank. Uh, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna flip the camera right now. All right, so here's my green tear. This is a juvenile, of course, and he's in a 75 gallon community tank. And what makes a huge difference when trying to find tank mates for your green tear is the fact if they were raised with tank mates. Like if you can, if possible, you can get a juvenile and raise it with tank mates. It's gonna be a lot more prone to get along with tank mates as adults. This is a huge factor. So um, just, you know, green tears are a lot like Jack Dempsey's, and I preach this, uh, every fish has a unique personality, and you really just have to um, kind of get to learn your specific fish and work around variables. Here is an adult green tear, by the way. I know some of you guys have been commenting, that's not a true green tear. I am aware of that, but uh, it's pretty much labeled as a green tear in the industry, and if you go to a fish store, it's going to be labeled as one. So, um, but yeah. A, there's there are some variables you can do if you're finding aggression with uh your tank with uh, i can't speak trying to keep your green tear with tank mates and there's a lot of aggression number one add more hiding spots that is a huge factor a lot of people do not do um you'll see in a lot of my tanks i use terracotta pots and like black pipes and stuff the more hiding spots the better because when an insecure fish uh, wants to go hide you have to have the ability to to let it hide so um but yeah your generic green tear uh if you get on the internet and search for tank mates you're going to get a lot of just like other south americans with the same personality like acaras severums convicts blood parrots uh jag cichlids uh i keep some of mine um with uh, maybe uh, as you can see here, this video, um, I'm keeping them with other Texas cichlids. That's probably not a smart idea, but these are all juvenile fish and I keep a close eye on them. I'm in here all the time and it's, you know, I, I hate to say it, but rules can be bent in the industry and you just kind of got to learn what fish you can bend rules with. And, uh, you know, it sucks because the internet isn't necessarily sometimes the best place to find information it's just if you experience it you know what i mean like uh if if you put a red terror or a red devil with something and you're like man that it's your experience is gonna lead you but it, it is also very important to research and i guess that's probably why you're here right now so uh i'm preaching but uh generic uh, run of the mill, like I said, South Americans, convicts. I've even seen green tears very commonly with fish maybe they shouldn't be with. Sorry, my daughter here is super excited here today. Um, like angelfish, tetras. I mean, it really depends how mild mannered your green tear is. And you're going to have to make the choice on that one. So, like, if you go out and get an angelfish, and they're together just fine. I mean, technically the internet's gonna tell you that shouldn't work, but I see a lot of people do it because the green tear. Oh, and by the way, this is a lot of my foods. I, I, uh, I will advise going with Omega-1 foods, uh, super high quality. I know it's kind of off topic, but I'll throw a link in the description box if you're interested in Omega foods, great stuff. But yeah, here's my green terror. Super awesome fish. I have uh, a playlist of videos devoted to them, and this video here will be added to it. So, all right, guys, without further ado, I am going to feed my other fish here and do some more water changes. And yeah, 